yet it's still doing well in Malaysia. So, um, as I said, I'd like to make a statement and is to have the audience experience something that they have not done before. And in this case, I believe the audience, um, there's a large number of audience they can accept movies as high as If Intercella can reach a certain type of audiences, I believe that also audiences can accept slowly to movie like this. By the way, uh, Erico is an uh, executive producer. Executive producer and producer as well for the movie. Yeah. And he's standing at the back there, hiding in the corner. <laughs> so you look behind, you can see he's standing right there. Okay, uh, tell us about uh, the production itself. How long did it take to produce this movie uh, from the start to uh, clothing start and post production start? And how much uh, CGI did you use in this movie as well? Okay, uh, the the script actually finished in 2014, and as I said, it went between us uh, for the uh, uh, pitch and then we moved for the grant. So um, we start um, production in uh, April uh, 2016. And uh, once it's finished, it actually took about a year plus to finish the CG. Because to be honest, we have a very, very good budget for this. Um, on and off, it's actually it's under 1.5 million to do us. To a sci fi, uh, which is actually is very, very low in the industry. So it, it took a very long time and there was a lot of dedication from all the, uh, all the team. And uh, also, um, the CG team actually divided into two main groups, and uh, each of them worked on their respective areas. And uh, in the end, we found we very happy, but it took a very long time. And also, the fact that uh, 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 we really spent a lot of time uh, also in some of the uh, in some issues. Finally, uh, we finished this in early 2018, and we for this uh, design choice. But then again, uh, you can only watch the movie once. So if you're on holiday, there's a chance that probably you will watch other movies as well. So that's why we stopped for this uh, What is your expectations for the movie itself? Well, the expectations, of course, is hopefully to reach to uh, as many people as we can. And also, I want to uh, stress that the, the whole idea itself, you know, Cast lineups. Um, you have seen that you know um, uh, that she acted in three different roles. Uh, it's to show that uh, flexibility as a great actress, and also the fact that uh, it's one of the biggest also um, uh, uh, role to be a lead, and uh, for him to do something very different. And also the fact that if you look at the lineup, we have uh, we have Ayes, we have Kim. Uh, these people actually are more on the um, on the stunt choreography role. I, I just want to have this idea. To people from this kind of industry to work into a, into a side line that is related and it's, uh, it's also has action and to have this line and if you notice also uh, Lenora Lau in a special period so actually there's a purpose for these people and it's just that it's my, my, my dream to introduce these people who work hard as a stunt choreographer or as a stunt man and also a practicing athlete to shine in the religious cinema to show that these people actually come to build a lot in the industry as well can you tell us a little bit about the selection of the cast, uh, what the people you picked, and why you picked them? Uh, actually, I just yeah, uh, yeah I just away. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe the cast can you tell us a little bit about their involvement in the main cast. Maybe starting with Sydney. Um, hello. Uh, so, uh, my name is Sydney. Uh, I'm from Malaysia. Uh, I'm Back in early 2016, um, I received a call, the manager received a call from Peter um, regarding this movie. So we met up, I think, around January and then we started filming in April. So um, yeah, we started talking and um, the story itself is, you know, this whole thing, why I chose to be a part of it is because it's out of my comfort zone. You know, if you see any of my work, it's always, um, you know, something that's not related to sci-fi. I think the by the way, is a bit, yeah, but this one in particular focuses more on sci-fi and how very, the feel of indie, which is not, not what I'm used to before, so. And the fact that it's full on English film, and uh, yeah, and of course again, the, the selection of characters, and I just, I, 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 took, it, I took on the role with open arms, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and I think it is. 
and um, you know, just working with a bunch of cars that I've never worked on before, with with before. So it's um, a great opportunity, and I hope you guys like it. So, sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> uh, tell us about your involvement in the film, how you got into it, and uh, why you decided to pick up such a role. Well, for me, it was a great opportunity uh, with the role to show you know, my athletic stuff, my mixed martial arts ability, uh, with the help of bias, of course, and stunt choreography, um, what I can do, and you know, action films are kind of what I enjoy watching. Great to have uh, a character that does action stuff but can play it cool at the same time. So the character kind of fit a bit of what I'd like to do. And uh, you know, it, it was a great opportunity to do an English uh, speaking role in, in Malaysian cinema as well. So I thought, okay, well, this is fantastic. I should jump on, you know, the, the production and uh, see what see what happens. And uh, my fellow cast members were awesome as well. And you know, it was a great opportunity. Like Sidney said, uh, open arms, John uh, You being an athlete, was it difficult to, to take an uh, take on an acting role? Um, actually, I've done a whole bunch of different movies. I've got about five uh, movies that have come out, I believe, uh, already, and a few more coming out soon. Um, so I, I've done a couple of stage dramas, um, a whole bunch of uh, TV dramas, maybe smaller roles, but you know, I. I I also see myself as a professional actor, and every time I take on a character, right, I like it to be different from the last, or different to the characters I played previously. So, uh, you know, I I was really happy to play this guy that's very serious, kind of trying to have a laid-back life, and gets annoyed by people in general and decides to go a bit crazy. So. Is a really good character uh, for me, and I, I suppose it fits all the different personality traits that I have as well. Okay. I, I, asked, yeah, I asked this also the action director for this movie, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about you all, and all the parts that you actually worked on, uh, the choreography and stuff, the fight choreography and stuff. Right, so, um, so. so I have been, uh, <coughs> like more probably known as a professional actor. South Asia as well as um, Asia as a whole uh, in Japan and Korea and Australia. But um, I have actually been in the film industry for over 12 years now, close to 30, and I've been working as an action director and stunt coordinator for a lot of films in Malaysia, uh, films, dramas, and series and stuff, this year. Um, including Spiral, it is, I think it is about my 29th project in the film industry as a stunt coordinator and action director. So at first I was called in to become uh, I started being an international director for the spiral uh, when Aaron was attacking me. And then I met up with Peter and stuff. And um, he's, he offered me a role, which is Detective Sergeant Alex. It is, uh, is a role which requires some action as well as some acting as well. So for me, I love to do action directing. I love to do uh, things related to stunts and choreography. Uh, when it comes to acting, I'm very picky in choosing the roles. But, uh, uh, Spiral was actually a very, very good story for me. Uh, I personally liked it, and which was the reason why I decided to jump on board as an actor as well. But on the action directing side, um, I think it was a very fun project to work on, especially when I get to work with uh, an enemy fighter like Peter Davis. Um, in my past experience working with actual fighters um, uh, in the film industry has been very difficult because there's certain ego attached to them. And it's very difficult for me to coach them and to train them and help them to look better on screen due to their ego. But um, I have not faced any difficulty at all while working with them. You know, he, yeah, he's very humble. It's very humble, very easy to work with. He absorbs everything like a sponge. And um, I think because of that, it kind of helps make the action scenes in the spiral a lot more nicer as compared to most of the other action films. Did yeah, anyone get injured during the shooting? Um, just minor bruises and stuff, which is quite normal when it comes to shooting action. Hi, yeah, I, I Kim. Um, Kim is, is a stunt woman, well known stunt woman. She's done quite a few movies with me. Yeah. And uh, how, how did you get involved in this? And, uh, 
What do you mean in your role? Okay, first of all, um, I just introduced me to Victor because uh, you say that they are really looking for uh, a cause that can fight and add as well. So um, I give it a try and then I was selected for the role as a detective uh, Alina. So she's kind of like a very, um, very serious person in this movie. And this is my first movie that I act. You know, so before I just do uh, a <coughs> double body for some artists. So this is like my first ever movie that I act, and I'm very like honored to be to be in the team as well. So um, I think I don't have to to say so long because I think most of them already like I still own what I want to say. So yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the preview for tonight. <laughs> Okay, uh, Peter, uh, sorry, Peter Wong, maybe I'm wrong, it's Peter Wong. Uh, uh, right. Sorry, not wrong, it's Peter Wong. Okay, um, uh, Peter, uh, tell us, uh, with such a small budget, this is for 1.2 million, uh, do you feel that you have achieved what you want to achieve with the movie? In terms of production and quality? Well, well, as always to all directors, but I can say, you know, for the uh, first time to do this, um, I really learned a lot. And I'm really thankful, as I say, for all the team behind me. They really put in a lot of effort, and a lot of them actually give you more than, uh, you know, than, than what they have been for. And I really appreciate it, and I, I'm really humbled by all the system this. So, even with that budget, um, to me, it's, it's also, again, as I say, it's an honor to, to, to be able to work with this together with so, such a great cast. So, as I said, it's all about hard work and figuring out the best, uh, the best way to work within the budget and to get the right people on track. So that's why I said I was happy with the CG team. Um, that it really sacrificed a lot, but it really saved a lot to get it done at this stage, to see what we see in the next year. What has been the biggest challenge for the shooting? Um, well, uh, as I said, my first time as a, um, as a feature director, um, there's a lot of things uh, that I never expected. But um, luckily along the way, uh, we received some great guidance also from the cast. And, uh, but I think the most important thing is, um, is that uh, we're able to uh, collaborate and we have a uh, uh, similar lives together. Especially, um, unfortunately, Ben, ben and my is not here. But when we were um, discussing the roles, actually CT, Peter Davis, and Ben and I, and, and I we engaged in a very serious uh, discussion on how these things should work out. Yeah, we talked a lot in the and you know, we have such a limited time, such a limited budget, and you know, my first day is like, I mean, like, day time, time, time. You know? But the whole point is, we had to do that in order for them to have that kind of um, uh, discussion and chemistry, like in the first place, like, you know, um, uh, City's role, as when you're watching the movie, her role is really damaged with um, uh, Ben and the but they cannot be too close because of the dreams that she's been occurring. And because of Peter comes in, you know, there's a very complex relationship happening between them. So everything must be segregated carefully. It cannot be too, uh, too emotional on one another. So there's a lot of brainstorming sessions that we have, and also tons of WhatsApp messages that we exchange. Like even like <laughs> ten, yeah, <laughs> ten minutes of voice messages that I left to CC, and she's been like, "It's today, you know, getting agree. So there's a lot of things that happen on and off set. So uh, at the end, yeah, I'm really happy with your dedication and your passion. Okay, uh, maybe we can open up to the floor and let the uh, media ask the uh, questions directly. Uh, anybody wants to ask the first question? The media Malaysia is quite shy. <laughs> maybe for Wednesday? No? Has everybody got what they want already? KLTV? Any other one? Oh, okay. They want to do one to one with you guys. So, if there's no questions, I think we can wrap it up. Anything else you want to add in? Uh, anybody else want to add in? Um, I'm hoping you really enjoyed the movie and you know, you can spread the word out that it's good, it's something different for Malaysian audiences. And it is a long holiday, as Peter mentioned, so yeah, get your friends to go watch it. Take a chance. It's awesome. And thank you very much, everyone, for attending today. Uh, Again, it's been my pleasure and I'm honored to be here to be with us this evening. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Um, I hope everybody just uh, appreciates this movie and to watch it with an open mind. Hopefully everybody will enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for attending this press conference and uh, we shall return for some refreshments in the back. And thank you for the class of the